can you build a sample simple solar system ui for me this is a prompt that i gave them so it created seven files if you can see here it created seven files for me okay hello all welcome back to care with wasn't youtube channel my name is wasn't i hope you all doing well as you know i'm making a lot of content about front end and gen ai related stuff uh, in last couple of weeks so this week also i'm teaching you quite a few important things that is like if you are a front end developer in 2025 what are the editor that you must know editors are something that you use for coding day to day basis what are the editor that you must have so without wasting further time let's get started um see editors i want to broadly categorize into two parts okay so like uh, one category is one category of one category of editors are those there where you edit the code and like basically they suggest you on real time or some type of editors where you write something and they auto suggest some more amount of the code okay but the third category of the editor i'm going to talk about all the categories in this video so please watch the video till the end and with all the live demo so that by end of this video you're going to get to know which one probably the editor that you should be using so there are other type of editor which i've opened right now ripple.it.com uh, so this is an editor where you give a prompt which is beyond just a simple kind of a like uh, a question or something like that like if you give if you ask you to build some application it's going to build that application for you which you can customize further let me give you an example just before this video starts as playing playing with their solar system application see as you can see here all i told was like can you build a sample simple solar system ui for me this is a prompt that i gave them so it created seven files if you can see here it created seven files for me okay and uh, if i extract the source app dot everything basically it created complete code for me and i have created a simple solar system with a sun and the four planets obtaining around it each planet has its own size color orbit radius rotation speed as you see okay so this is something that i already built and if you want to look at the code the code is readily available here okay app.tsx you can go you can check for the code app.css you can go and check for the code okay and preview if you go you see it now we have four planets right can you please increase the number of number of planets to eight and can you double the size of sun double the size of sun so basically i want whatever you see in the center the sun size to be doubled and i want more planets so let me see can you do it for me or not okay so this is some kind of projects that from more like people would do for their one is hobby or a lot of times this is more like the school assignment or college assignments where you basically now they don't even have to code anything everything is basically generated here but let's see can it really do because the first one was very easy can you build solar system can it really make the changes we'll see so i'm just giving apply all since solar system apply all i guess sun the size of sun got doubled we observed it and i wanted eight planets correct so i have one two three four five six if the other planets are some somewhere away is there a way i can run okay i'm running it on new tab to see ah see the new tab when i run i'm seeing like one two three four five six seven eight eight planets maybe i could have given nine planets but we don't have nine planets technically see but it is working so where a simple sort of an application i don't think simple even a relatively complicated application so we can get done with the help of the this ripple.it i must suggest i suggest like you all should be using it okay so ripple.it maybe i'm not 100 sure of their pricing and probably i will mention that in the comment section where we can go ahead and okay if i go to here uh, so they charge core plan around 180 dollar per year that's what they are saying 180 dollar means 100 dollar is around 8000 rupees so around uh, 16000 rupees they are charging per year for using this tool is it worth i don't know it depends on the use case to use case but there are a lot of free tools available so if you're somebody who's collaborating working for the, with the teams probably this might be a useful idea but not for a standalone developer is what i my assumption but again you can take a call next very very common and most famous editor that all of us know is github copilot correct so github copilot has now extended the way how it behaves earlier if you remember you used to write the code here and it used to like give the uh, like you write something and it used to immediately suggest the code here like for example you want to build a to-do app as soon as you write to-do it used to suggest what is the code that you need to write okay and like uh, if you write like like a function sort array in javascript if you write the thing it used to write the code for you but now what we it has become is you just write the code here and right hand side you can see an editor uh, a chatbot that is live and helping you like now uh, the uh, this one uh, the charge it, uh, the uh, now the github copilot basically has the brilliance attached to it like basically it can go through your code understand your code like some of your peers 
and then try to basically suggest you something like for, for example now you, are, you have made some mistake but you are not able to make out it, you can ask the uh, co-pilot now can you please go through the code and understand and help you to solve this it's going to do so the best advantage of using this is now the earlier the problem was if the project is really big so where exactly to make the change like for example you might have shared folder structure the code is somewhere the utility is somewhere styles are somewhere all of that now the, the github copilot can understand and code for you okay and what is the cost of it i think it is relatively free i mean for large use case basically it is free unlimited public and private repositories so it's basically free for most of us if you have to use and do not use in your office projects unless your organization accepts it okay for some project please go ahead and use it so automatic security and version update 2000 csd minutes per month standard mp package storage issues most lot of it is actually free trial itself and otherwise they charge like 4004 usd per month 21 usd per month for the enterprise 4 usd per month so 12 for the 28 let's say 50 dollar per month 50 dollar per year which is roughly around four and a half thousand if you are somebody who cannot meet your requirement in free then only i recommend please go to the paid version okay if so far but whenever i use in the past free version was more than sufficient okay so such similar editor was another one which is quite popular which is like used by a lot of people is again codium I'm calling it Codium, maybe it is Codium, I don't know, but I'm calling it Codium for simplicity. So Codium basically is a, again as an editor, it is it runs in a similar way, okay? So where, let's say now you are full contextual awareness. So this is something that was missing when the Gen A started or when the Copilot also started, there was no contextual awareness. Like for example, you ask, you paste a code, you ask a suggestion, it will do. Or you uh, write some function name and you want it to like basically add something into like for example you write a function filter array element it's gonna it should give you the, it used to give you the definition but it was not understanding as a file or the complete folder what is it you're trying to achieve but now with codium.com with windsurf windsurf is an editor you can download it actually has a lot of context around what is it you want to do if you see my screen now so where it is actually in java so where if you uh, the continue what I did with the other integration test. So basically it even remembers your context, what you did with the other integration test. And it is trying to like basically assess the current code and suggesting, let me check if there are any other integration test files that need to be documented or searching an integration purpose. And it like finally it will usually ask the user's confirmation. So this is everything that I'm changing. Can you accept it? Okay. Accept all. As you see, as soon as you accept all, new files will get created. Complete testing files get created. Okay. Suggest and run code. If you see here, maybe if there, this is something in React. Okay. React or TypeScript. You see here. So you have written a function now, handle full name change. Okay. And you are asking like continue my work. So it, you, he's just stopped the work that, and it won't, he's asking you. Uh, the Jana itself to continue and suggest what are the missing elements or what next I need to do. If we accept the change, all of that are getting added. Okay. So this is a very, very brilliant tool and multiple file editing. See, this is something that's another common problem that Copilot and other engines had where uh, it was difficult to basically um, understand a complete project structure and make a change. For example, you have a button component that is used in 10 different pages. Now, suddenly if you change button component at once, it's going to affect the rest of the uh, uh, other usages. Now in multi filleting it even understand the context and makes a change. If you see here, so where if you go here, like all of it, it is going through and again, it is making the change at the complete project level and not at the, just the, uh, that particular file level. Okay. So this is a very, very brilliant editor. Either you can definitely, you can use VS code plus uh, Copilot installed on top of it, or you can definitely use the Windsurf editor. It is available for Mac, Windows, and everything. But relatively, it is at a higher cost compared to Copilot. If you see right, Copilot will charge you anywhere around uh, uh, four dollar a month, as I was saying, four dollar a month. But this is charging you around fifteen dollar a month, and like sixty dollar a month if, if using a lot of pro features. If they have also have a free trial, but I feel like GitHub Copilot free trial is little bit better in terms of pricing compared to this. But I think Windsurf offers a lot of pro features, as I clearly mentioned, like multiple file editing. Not saying like Copilot cannot do it, but with my experience of using Windsurf stands relatively better compared to Copilot. If you have money and you want to play it out, go with the zero um, free free trial. Use it, understand if you love it, please go ahead and upgrade. That's what my suggestion. And there's another editor, popular editor also, this is Cursor. This is also where you can download it for the Mac or Windows. You can use it on the local. This is not too advanced with whatever I've understood with my usage of so far. It looks like a preliminary version of the GitHub Copilot where it will auto suggest you the code. 
not have the lot of brilliance as that of the other tools okay pricing again it is also free for 2000 completions 550 slow premium request 20 dollar a month 40 to 40 user per month okay 40 40 dollar user per month again business and pro feature so if you ask me probably among the all the tools i would definitely recommend people to use at least the this wind surf um, by codium go through it understand it spend some time i am sure you're going to love this codium uh, editor and definitely if you are something of prim primarily money concerned go to new scope pilot which is largely free for free for most of your use cases that's also good uh, good uh, AI extension but my humble request please start using these extensions and like i definitely understand if your org has some constraint do not to use fine otherwise please start using these because you have to learn basically using these tools and make the productivity faster for example today if somebody is taking like one hour to build something with help of the Jana, probably they can build that in five minutes. If you're not doing that, probably your 55 minutes of your productivity is kind of getting like compromised, correct? So spend your time wisely, start using these tools. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please like it. If you want me to make more Jana, Jana related content with respect of content, I mention that in the comment section. Like the video, share the video with your friends so that they can also get benefited. Subscribe to my channel, Career with Vasant. Whatever you felt, honestly, please do comment it. Follow me on LinkedIn, follow me on Medium. And if you want to get one-on-one -on -one session with me, all of that I mentioned in the comment section, go ahead and check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video.